uh, another thing that's worth talking about is uh, momentum and energy and work. Um, and I'm just going to do, we're going to talk about other, uh, excuse me, other types of momentum real quick, but this is about another idea. So when we looked at kinetic energy, we ended up with an integration of mv dv. Okay. Now, we can say that this is this, where P, of course, is momentum. Okay, We can say it's that. We can express it in that form. And when we do the integration, we end up with, with this 1 half V squared. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that integration. So we're going to end up with, um, this integration is going to give me a 1 half P for the momentum and actually let me erase that because it's no longer a vector after the dot product V okay so that is the the result of that integration well we want to kind of simplify this this has got a velocity term in it this has got a velocity term in it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna introduce one we're going to multiply my system by 1. m over m is nothing more than 1. I can multiply anything by 1 as many times as I want to. In this case, I'm only going to do it once. So if I have m times v, I end up with another p. Okay. So mass times velocity is momentum. So I'm going to end up with 1 half p squared over m. So another way of expressing kinetic energy, and we don't really do this as much in the classical models, but we will do that certainly when we talk about quantum mechanics and light, is that we can say the energy of something is going to be um, p squared over 2m. Okay. So when we talk about the energy of something, we can talk about it as being 1 half mv squared, which is certainly more common or we can say it's p squared over 2m. That's just another way of expressing the, the kinetic energy of something.